Zor released a new update to their blueprint and today I'm going to show you this new update. Actually there are two updates but one of them is huge, the other one is okay. For the people that don't know what is a blueprint, a blueprint is a way for you to enforce all your company to do things in a certain way, basically work based on a process. Uh, me, for example, as a logical business owner, I don't see any other way to work in a company. There need to be a way that uh, new employees can come into their position and there will be a certain th ways, certain ways to do things. For people that are already operating in the company, they don't need to spend too much CPU into thinking how to do things. They need to fall into some kind of uh, a square and in this square they can operate and things will be very, very simple. As an example, as you can see on my screen, you can see that you will have a deal. In this deal, which means I'm right now, I have the meeting scheduled, there are a few options for me to do. Right now I can or click on meeting held, which means I'm right now attending the meeting and I'm talking to the person, or the person is late for the meeting and then I will click on it and this person will receive a text message saying, are you late? Do you need me to wait any longer? Or there is a no show, or in some cases I just want to close it. Let's assume that I want to close this deal. If I want to close it, the system will need to ask me different questions. So let's say closing that, is it today or maybe in the past? Or also what is the reason that I want to close this deal? In those cases, I don't need to tell my employees what to do when they click on close lost. The system needs to do it automatically for them based on my logic, based on my brain. And this is, I think, the biggest part of, of, of a blueprint. Now that we have basic understanding of what is a blueprint, and if you want more information about what is a blueprint, click on the link above, you will see lots of videos about blueprints. Let's jump into the settings page where I can show you the new update. I'm going to a, create a demo or example based on the meeting held. So the meeting held means that the meeting right now is being conducted. I have a way to capture how much money I offered during the sales meeting for architecture, for development, what product the person needs, what kind of project is it? Is it, if it's a retainer, if it's fixed or hourly, zone knowledge, any kind of follow-ups for, for the salesperson and so on. This is right now what we are going to do. Let's jump here. So this is the blueprint settings page. The developer need to work here, not the employees. So don't be afraid of uh, this page. If I will click on meeting held, you will see here that I will have all the questions, architecture, development, product type, all those are presented here. Now, until today, if you clicked, for example, on meeting held or any transition, any button in the blueprint, as you can see here, all those questions mark with red, which means they are mandatory. There was no way to make them optional. Huge downside, huge. Now Zor released a new update that you can mark those as optional or mandatory, which means if, for example, I am right now talking to the customer, the customer don't need any type of architecture, you just need development. In this case, I don't need to enter the architecture hourly rate, but in this blueprint, it's a must because in some cases I do need. So in case that I have here mandatory, I would just put zero, which is garbage data into my system. In that case, right now, I can change it to optional. I can republish the blueprint. And then if I will refresh this page, this field will become optional. And then I can, I can just leave it as is without putting any information. So this is a huge upside. The next thing that I want to show you is that uh, the notes and attachment were moved in the settings page. So if you click, for example, on the meeting held, you can see that in the during, you will have in the associated items, you will have the ability to request for notes and attachments. For the people that don't know, you can also 
request fields from related items. It used to be in, in the past, there used to be some limitation, but right now it's really, really insane. Probably every field that has some kind of a connection, a lookup to the field, you can have additional fields being added to those related items, which is amazing. Bottom line, I think that this is a very good feature that so just released. I really recommend you working with it. If you cannot see it in your system, there is a chance that uh, Zo didn't release it to your system. If you are part of those people and we are your Zo partner, please drop us a line. We'll be happy to hook you up with Zo. We do those things free of charge. Obviously, we don't charge for it. And uh, if you have a, a different Zo partner, ask them as well. And I'm sure that they will be happy to help you. If you have any questions, anything to say, drop it in the comments below. Thumbs up is, of course, always appreciated and helping us in the uh, YouTube rankings. Thank you very much for your time. We'll see you in the next session.